Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RimWorld <coughs> and to a mess. And you might notice it looks very different from when we left off. That's because stuff has happened. And the, that actually is going to lead us to today's theme, um, which is failure. Now, don't worry, the colony hasn't completely disastrously disintegrated yet. It's well on its way, though. Um, and this has led me to want to talk a bit about failure today. Failure in games and failure in learning. Because um, failure is instrumental to learning, of course. And at the same time, we in Finnish schools, especially in language courses, especially, there is, I think you can all, all uh, recognize, or if you don't experience yourself, you, you've seen it in classrooms, a, a fear of failure. Um, a sort of fear of not having the right answer. And of course, in a situation like this, in a game, failure has very, very, very uh, strong consequences in the game. I mean, let's take this for example. I had, uh, in the in the last uh, session I had, played, which which there were problems with, with that session, so we're not uploading that one. But in the last session, uh, you know, we were about to start planting again, and I had set up a new field to produce hay. Now, because of the way fields are selected, look at this, when I click them and select all, and I had select the plant to grow, it had selected hay to be grown on all my fields. This led to my food production being delayed, uh, and uh, leading to the <laughs> situation we have now, where we have no food in the colony. We just do not have any food. Okay, someone's dead right there. Um, we And we are sort of relying on hunting, actually, right now. And we're going to have to send uh, Fred, I think, out, or actually all of our people with guns out to hunt. And uh, so, yeah, uh, coming back to this situation, I mean, failure to look up for this, failure to properly build defenses, failure leads to, in the game, literally people die. And so... Strangely, my lesson for this session is it's it's okay to fail. Failure is, is, is really important. It's, it's fantastic to fail. I gave a talk at a conference a few years back called Feel Free to Fail. And it underlined the idea of creating an opportunity, creating classes that uh, liberate students to fail and to fail without fear. Because even though failure in this game leads to to death of our dear dear colonists it's okay because this is a game this is simulation and again i want to stress the, si the similarity between games like this and class which are simulations it's if you fail in class no one's going to get no one's going to really die uh if you fail during the lecture of that the actually the course it's okay that's part of learning uh too much stress is put on the fact that we have to display our learning, we have to demonstrate our learning uh, by succeeding in tests, and isn't that where the problem really, really resides when it comes down to? Now, we are going to have to turn this on. So, yep, I know that. Why, why, I don't know why it said that. Of course, I know all that. We are in a situation now where uh, Pepe is about to go insane because um, let's see why what it is Pepe starving hideous environment psychic drone a little paid awful bedroom feeling bad yeah he's he's not he's not happy so we are going to have to deal with that very soon but not right away because our most pressing concern is also these mechanoids that have come and they want to kill us. Isn't it nice? I certainly think so. Now, the thing is that unless we get some food soon, he's going to be just more and more upset. I wonder if can't I find anything to kill here, right? That's close by that we could could slaughter these guys. I might just have to. Yep, so here are the consequences of, of uh us having to do these things. Let's see. Uh, Patrick, who can... How do you... Yeah, prioritize that. Alexi. Uh, can you do that? 
who's who's good at doing this? Fred, can you do it? Oh, can you? Who's assigned to handling? Who is assigned to handling? Pepe? Alright, you can go there and do that. In the meantime, take up positions. Where is everyone? Ansu is uh, sick from something or other. Pepe is going to go slaughter one thing. Alright, let me... Uh, so... So, back to the lesson at hand. So, failing is okay. And why is it so good to fail in class and in games? Well, it's because of we can look at the situation. After that that humiliation of having made a mistake passes, after that feeling of, uh, of failure right out, um, we get to a situation where we think, okay, it's fine. Let's see, where can I take positions without getting slaughtered? Alright, we need to figure out a way to engage them without getting killed, absolutely killed. Maybe Vivan can go over there. Maybe Ansu. Go over there. Pepe. You can also go back here somewhere, I guess. Patrick, uh, you just stay out of the way. A knife, don't bring a... Don't bring a knife to fight against mechanoids. That's all I'm saying. Who's, is this on? Yeah, it's on. We have one turret. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna hope that turret draws the attention of... Okay. Oh, we have a... I'm gonna have that hunted as well. Okay, let's see how this goes. I don't know. Oh no! It can already, it can already shoot something? Oh, it's attacking the melee wall just to get through. Okay, that's fine. Alexi, we need we need your uh, firepower here. I think. Let's see where you can go. Can you get can you get out this way? All right, it's okay. It's taken aim at. Good. The psychic drone is sent in. Thank goodness for that. Okay. How badly hurt is this one now? Anyway, come back to the, the issue. So, once you've gotten over the humiliation of having made a mistake, a lot of times we... Okay. Go. Good. Yay! Oh no, there's two of them. Oh, man. I was already thinking we're done. Can we... No, we can't pull in the closer can you can you take a shot from there go over here actually go in through this way uh, no wait did I um, okay let's see if we can live through this oh my goodness that would be nice just don't know if we can though good job uh, watch your targets who are you shooting at now Oh man. Fred, can you You can't see him from there, can you? Maybe on to go up. Alright. Uh, Alex is all by himself there and he's one of our most important people, so pull back. Uh gotta move up. Mm -hmm. Shoot, where can I <sighs> Right, they're shooting now, so that's good. Good. I guess, Pepe, you go there. I guess Alexi... Oh, there goes the... Come on, take him out! Oh, Willem's hurt. How bad? Uh, pretty bad. Alright. No. Uh, pull back for now. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's, uh, we, we, we're alive. Oh, let's remove these things and then shut it down. Those things are actually pretty good, those uh, scyther blades. All right, so now, um, after this, we're gonna try to focus on, so, the problems here that, that ended to this thing is that, um, first of all, we made our 
initial growing area is too small to start with. That was one problem. The next problem was the issue of sowing the wrong thing. Uh, then another problem of taking on too many prisoners all at once. Not making sure that uh, we maintained enough uh, food to just survive. Uh, Lady Antsu, um Actually, yes, the two of us, we're going to go a hunting. Uh, Patrick's actually going to go and uh, melee attack that here. You two are going to go... Actually, I'm going to just uh, specify certain creatures for hunting. We need to just grow enough food to get by for a while. Furthermore, uh, more mistakes were made, so I didn't make sure to ensure we had enough power to maintain our growth of rice in there. So there were loads and loads of mistakes. And like I said, the good thing is about mistakes is about, okay, never mind that there was there were mistakes. What did you do? How did you try to fix the issue? Oh, no, Patrick, you should... Oh, wait, never mind. Pepe is on the case with that guy. So now we had to kill our chickens, which is uh, kind of sad. But uh, it would have been sadder if we'd have to you know, die. So, you know, there's always that. Alright. Let's get those things hold urgently. Alright. Are there any more critters around? There's a squirrel over there. I guess we might as well just take it out. And there's a bunny. So, we're just gonna have to try to There we go. Okay. I think maybe, hopefully, this is enough to get us through this the last next few days. Um, Pepe's mood is improving a bit. Uh, how's our situation with different cloth? We don't have hardly anything. We also need to reset our priorities a little bit here. Let's take a look. So, we have... Uh, Wilhelm at a clean priority, yes, but he's also at a growing priority, which is understandable seeing as we were out of food. But now, I've, at this point, Wilhelm should be... Actually, yeah, you need to go and uh, prioritize tending to Wilhelm. Severe illness, uh, Dorna is not doing so well here. Let's see if someone can go and see about them. Hope they can. I guess someone will at some point here soon, I hope. I've uh, designated these uh, two of our prisoners to be released because we do not have enough food. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit here. How fast are these things growing? 71%. These things are at 87. I'm hopeful to get food out of those things soon. And we'll let, we might live through this. Food! All the food! Hunt them. Uh, let's see. Patrick's there getting these scyther blades off. If nothing else, they can be... So no one's dealt with Dorma yet. I hope someone will at some point soon. Uh, Dorma is really, really sick. Uh, could someone do something about that? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's um, deconstruct that and uh, capture her, please. And let us deconstruct this as well. Where's Wilhelm anyway? What is Wilhelm doing? Shouldn't he be doctoring and stuff? Do we not have any medicine? Why are we not... Uh, why are we not taking care of this person? Come on. Be good people. So, how's that food situation? We have three, three foods sitting there. So, let's uh, select similar. Do you have any heal root anywhere? New recruit! Oh, wondrous day! Kinda, except they're... They need to eat, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna just see about them in just a little bit. First and foremost... Okay, let's jump to them. Lady Ansu has uh, 
Pretty panda. Yay, panda. Oh, yeah. You can live here. Now, what kind of person are you, panda? And, uh, first of all, yeah, let's uh, see. You're a loner. Cave child. Um, grew up in a large intricate cave complex. And uh, never liked tribal council or the best world. She preferred open uh, plans, uh, plain and lonely with whistle of wind through rocks and all this kind of stuff. This uh, careful shooter can mine, can grow. Boy, is that important. Because we finally have someone who can grow heel root, I think. And that is going to be pretty darn important. Let's, uh, oh, minimum skill 8. Never mind then. We'll just have to fix that later on. But let's set her up. First of all, uh, her real name uh, is, of course, a uh, very, very known uh, Finnish uh, girl's name, Santeri. There you go. Welcome, Santeri. And you're fantastic. Welcome to the colony. Uh, let's see what Santeri can do. Uh, you can be a patient. You can haul. You can flick. Uh, don't handle anything. Don't cook anything. Uh, don't worry about hunting. Constructing, you do that. In fact, you have four. Well, put us a three. Growing, two. This way we can uh, put that as a tertiary here. So, we have both. And that as a two as well. Four. You're the best artist we have, but we're not going to have any artists at all because we don't. Don't worry about crafting. In fact, we can put it as a four, sure. And um, let's see. Yeah, we don't need anything here. I think you can also haul things before you construct things. We have enough constructors as these. Okay, welcome to the colony. Now your sleep schedule. Let's see. You you don't have any kind of particular. So let's just uh, let's just copy yours from here. Have the same as Pepe. It's probably gonna be fine. Now Pepe, Pepe is already feeling better. So looks like the whole issue with uh, just giving people uh, food was enough. Now Sandre, what do you what do you do? You like to shoot? Do we have any shooting? We have a poor uh, we have a poor bolt action rifle down to twenty percent. That's pretty bad. Could also take a pila, a great bow. Sure, Sandri, pick up the great bow. Go ahead. All right, people are hunting. That's good to see. Uh, oh wait, we're out of steel, so we can't really build all the things we need to build. And who is it that's supposed to be, Patrick? What are you doing? supposed to be making more blocks uh, a more where the heck are you going for all those things what's this we have marble here do we have enough marble already I guess we do have enough marble what am I trying to build I'm trying to build that out of granite that's the thing isn't it that's what's taking so long let's see if we can help uh... is this granite there should be enough granite here right no that's that's marble. Okay, let's have uh, let's have these hold with some urgency in there, just to have stop him from having to run like a hundred billion miles to get some chunks. That way we can get this thing built, this defensive area built, pretty sharpish. All right, but anyway, uh, we survived that very very tricky situation. I'm very pleased with that, and I'm. I think today might be a bit of a shorter episode. Um, let's just see how... Party! Okay! Alex is throwing a party! Yay! Okay, this is fantastic news for our uh, for our mood. And now the rice is coming in. We have more growers now, so we should be able to do quite well with that. So let's put in a growing zone about 7 times 7 there. 7 times 7 here. We're actually going to just put uh, here root there. Now, I know no one can grow it yet, but they will be able to grow it soon. And here, potato would be decent. How far is this? I'm going to grow some uh, 
uh, I'm actually going with potatoes there. Yep. Okay. Now, wow. How about that? Seems like we have food, but not very much food. But we do have a whole bunch of those things in there. We had to slay our turkey, and that is sad, of course. Uh, why isn't uh, why aren't these being um, hauled urgently? I do want these to be hauled urgently. Uh, we do have a place for them, don't we? Uh, what what are we taking here? Corpses, mechanoid corpses, yes, and. Uh, Items, body parts, yeah. Good. Yeah, we are getting we are getting that stuff hauled, so that's great. Good news. Alright, things are slowly getting put into place here. I'm very glad to see that. Dorna seems to have gotten better. Malnutrition miners, that's gonna be fine soon. We're it's all gonna be fine, don't worry about it. We could uh, go after some more metal soon if people would just get on with it here's a bunch of metal right here but uh, let's see okay so this colony, colony looks nice and clean now actually look at that uh, Santeri is up uh, working very very nice very good to see that um, what are we working the research here is working on electric cremation okay but I actually Oh, super soil requires stuff that we don't have. We have, we can build a basic, uh, simple workbench already. Okay, research queen. Uh, what do I need to do to get bionics? Because I do want that at some point. Uh, no, that's that's too much for now. Let's not do that. Um, let's instead go with smithing that can lead it to brewing. Although, Devil Strand. Oh yes, I'll get that soon. That's a that's just like an expensive kind of clock that gives super food, uh, super, not super food. What do you call it? Is someone gonna plant this? Oh, I haven't allowed sowing there. Sorry about that. How's our situation with? Uh, yeah, we we're fine with a lot of things. Um, the food supplies are starting to look up now quite a bit, which is great. I should actually. Put in. Uh, okay, here is where I want. Uh, we put some furniture. We put a standing lamp right over here. Put a production chamber. We can get the uh, simple prosthetics workbench. Yes, sir, Bob. We'll get a stool out of wood. I hope we still have some wood. Yeah, we have 500 and something of wood. That's great. Okay, but um, now that we're starting to get more and more, what is it that we're starting to get more and more? We're starting to get more and more. We could turn these off for now, actually. Pink and pink and pink, because we get enough food from outdoors. Um, what's this? Strawberries. Oh, wonderful. Okay, um, I do want to create a separate room for produce. I know we're carrying some over here, but maybe I could just make this into a little bit of a... We'll put down some concrete, concrete floor right here. I know, I know right outside of the... Uh, whatchamacallit? We do need to... could consider building what's called a bug trap here as well. I'm seriously consider that because we are gonna end up having trouble with bugs at some point if we don't watch out. But I set up a quick stockpile zone right here. Uh, come on, how do I select the stockpile zone? There we go. And we clear all. And the only thing I want in here are um, raw food, vegetarian, uh, potatoes and rice. That's it. Nothing else. And did I put it as important? Uh, no, but no. Put that there. Uh, actually, preferred, because I want. There we go. Preferred. I want this to be important. Excellent. Yes, we have food! 
the food and we are actually building stuff here as well. Ah, oh, wondrous day. Stuff is getting done. Low food. What are you talking about? Don't be lying to me. Okay. Um, it's about time. This means that in the next episode, we'll be able to actually start, you know, making something. What, what do we need? Components. Are we out of... No, we're not out of components. Don't be lying to me. Oh, it's just that we are, have so many different things that we are uh, in the process of building. How much meat do we have left? I could start... I could consider starting making five meals, but that would mean we need a consistent source of... Hey, come on, who's letting this go to waste out there? Get that stuff in. Alright. Um... Uh, should expand that stockpile zone then, I guess. There we go. Yeah. It's about time to start just making stuff look nicer. Uh, not just look nicer, actually make things uh, better also. How much iron do we have now? Because we do want to actually start putting down... Where's the iron? Kibble. I wonder what I make kibble out of. I don't even know. How much iron do we have? We don't have. We have this iron mine around here. Now iron costs. Uh, these things that I wanted to build are going to cost a good bit of money, but they're going to be worth it because. Let's see. Dead fall trap. Steel. All right. Whoop. 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 I know that's costing a lot already, but basically what I want is people, bad guys, who come in here. Alright, I'm gonna get have a bad time. Alright. Pocket trader. Alright, cool. It's the good old bad, babe, bad babes. We're gonna trade with these people, and then we're gonna call it... Uh, a psychic soothe. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess Cassandra, the storyteller, uh, felt a little bit sorry for us because seems like um, we're getting a little bit of a break here. But let's not let that deceive us. And uh, let's see. What can we do here? Uh, we need a prosthetic arm. What do you need for it? 25 plus steel, 3 components. Yeah, we can do that. We have... We can uh, dig into our supply of plus steel right here. We should also soon be able, once we figure out machining, we'll be able to... Uh, well, yeah, you'll get to that soon. Let's first... Uh, Who's uh, our second? I don't, I don't want to disturb Red Lady. I'm just asleep. Where's the main trader dude? Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's hope we don't anger them for some reason now. Where is the guy with a question mark on his head? Who we can trade with? Are, are we not able to trade with any of these people? Where is the guy with the question mark? I mean, did I... There he is. Okay. So, humps. Is that a description or is... <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see what we got. They have milk. Do you like milk? I don't know. Uh, we do need a bunch of cloth, actually. We only have 42. Let's see what we can... If we can get this trade balance out. We need to buy make like dusters and stuff. I don't know what all we need to make, but we need to make stuff. Uh, hair letter, ba da di do da di dum. Well, we, have, we could buy a bunch of steel, but we do have enough steel on this map. So we should be fine there. Um, sell some poor pants. More poor pants. A normal t-shirt. Sure, we'll hold on to that. Pig spin thermal pants. Thermal pants. Yeah, no one wants those because it's warm. These are starting to get a bit worn out. Okay. Uh, 
Um, that would still leave us owing them quite a bit, so why don't we just print this down to 200? There we go. I'll get a bunch of just cloth to start making clothes out of because we're where where's our cloth making place anyway here? Right. What are we supposed to make? We have thermal plants, we have two until you have one. I'll, I'll see about who should get those military fatigue fatigues, but I want to make uh, dusters in case people get hot. Do we have one? Move it up before Parker because uh, then we could uh, make a nice button down shirt. No, sorry about that. Uh, let's make one sec. What are they called? They're called of overalls, or we have. There are these things that you can make, the construction jackets, for the people who are our primary constructors. Let's, uh, let's, let's do until we have one of those. I don't know. And then let's, sure, let's add a button-down shirt, fancy shirt. Do until we have one of those as well. I don't know. Let's see what they'll what they'll make first, second, and third, and all that. I don't really know. Okay. Yeah. But at this juncture, I think we're ready to call it a day. Have a fire. Santari is right there putting it out. Well done, Santari. Very glad. Um, have another fire. Alexi and Lady Ansu are right there putting that up, and we can proceed towards machining. Excellent. Right, and we have a third fire. Once again, no problem for our peeps. Okay, I'm just gonna get this last bit of steel mined out from there. What is taking so long with uh, all that stuff? Bandit camp opportunity. Alright, I'm gonna skip that still because we are still not well equipped enough. Um, I can hardly manage to, mm, to manage my own base, let alone uh, go out and try to slay evildoers. Um, but we do need some more living quarters, and I'm thinking about expanding down here. Uh, the Shrek current is leaving, bye-bye. We're getting those traps set up in a nice fashion, very good. I'd like these to be urgently hauled, so we can get started with uh, the clothes. Alright, but yeah, like I said, I think this is a good place to uh, call it quits. I know I talked a bit longer than usual. Um, I don't know longer than usual. I do talk a lot anyway. But uh, the food crisis is averted. We are starting to stockpile food. Uh, our mood crisis is averted. We are <laughs> almost stockpiling mood. I wish you could stockpile mood. Uh, I stash opportunities. Some cloth, travelware. Yeah, no, don't care. Uh, like I said, our own colony, just getting our own colony set up and uh, dealt with is of primary importance right now. Okay, well, in the next episode then we'll uh, set out some new goals. We have averted, we uh, identified, we noticed some errors, we identified the problems, and we were able to uh, correct our past mistakes. Now we're even grown heel root. Oh, glory day. Santari has joined us. We are, um, what could be better? What could be better? I'm sure a lot of things, but for now, this is fine. Oh, we actually have an extra room, so 
uh, Santri, go on and live over here. You don't have to uh, live in this cold room. You can you can leave this as a prisoner room. No, what do I do? No, this is Santri. This is Santri's bed. There, there you go. Make that unknown. All right, great. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh, we don't have anyone in our barn at the moment. Hmm. I wonder what to do next. Oh well. What we are going to do is we're going to set up here under this little roof. We're going to put a little bit of a wall here. Maybe just a marble block right there to pretend that we're supporting the wall there. And then we are going to put in a... Uh, Animal prosthetics, ooh, cool. We're going to put in a cremation thing in my bob. Because we're gonna stop burying these undeserving bad people who come and, and raid us, and we are going to start burning them. That's why we're also gonna start burning other useless junk that I don't need. Anyway, that's it for today. So, lesson of the day it's okay to fail. Failure is the way to learn, and it's especially okay to learn to fail in games and in school because that's uh, and that should be the positive benefits of that should be explored benefits stressed and also the shame of failure should be alleviated in any way people possibly can all right because there's no reason to fear failure in when you're learning thanks for your attention see you next time bye